Hey everybody, it's Andy. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Evergoods Civic Half Zip 26 liter bag in the limited edition Signal Blue variant. If you like content like this and want to see more, please smash the like button on the video, leave a comment below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps. Without further ado, let's talk about this bag. First, I'm going to be talking about this limited edition Signal Blue colorway. Evergoods has made a few of their newer bags available in this colorway on their website. The retail prices aren't any higher than the normal versions of the bags, but the Signal Blue limited editions don't receive any discount. Currently, the CHZ26 and their Cap 2 pouch are both out of stock in Signal Blue, but you can still get a CBL24 or a CPL28 V2 if you like the color. I'm going to be comparing this Signal Blue color to some other blues that I have readily available. First, this is the uh, Tombin Celeron Cobalt Blue Limited Edition colorway. So if you compare it, the, the Cobalt Blue is, I would say, maybe a bit greener of a blue. Uh, and also, the Signal Blue here, the, the water bottle pockets, you know, are a different blue than the blue itself. Pulling out another blue, this is the Tombin Island. Uh, this is the inside of the island, which is just a bit shinier than the outside. Uh, but you can see the island is probably more of a brighter blue, in this lighting at least. And finally, I have the North Face, this is a uh, North Face Canyonlands jacket, in the Clear Lake Blue, Heather. And this uh, has a bit more colors, but it should give you a sense for how the signal blue looks here. And now, right now, I'm in a, a kitchen with some lights that are not natural sunlight, so I'm actually going to take this outside and we can compare this against all these other blues in the sunlight. So we'll be right back. All right, here we're outside. Uh, you can see that with the sunlight, the bag actually does have a more bright and vibrant color. I've seen this described online as being similar to the dress, where depending on how you look at it, it can be completely different. Indoors, in the more yellow light, it definitely appears to be a bit grayer than it does out here, where it does have that nice bright signal blue that you might want. Anyway, comparing again, Here's the Tombin Cobalt Blue Celeron. Uh, still a bit different, but I'm just showing you all of these. Next up, we have the Tombin Island. This is probably one of my favorite blues, the island. And then, once again, here's that North Face Clear Lake Blue Heather. So, if you want a good sense for Signal Blue, hopefully this has given that to you. Anyway, I'm going to jump back inside and we'll talk about the bag. All right, so one last note about the color. If you don't get the limited edition Signal Blue, the CHC26 is available in the same black material as their other bags, like this CPL28. All right, now let's go over the bag. Over here on the front, we have, uh, it's very similar to the CHC22 bag, just a bit larger. So we have this clean uh, 600D nylon on the front. Down here, we have the Evergoods logo sewn in on this 2x2 Velcro patch. Um, they, Evergood sells the high contrast, bright, reflective color patches you can put there, or you can put any other 3x2 patch and it'll just be hanging a bit over. On the side, we have these nice water bottle pockets that they've included. Uh, these pockets have little cutouts at the bottom to let debris or drainage out, and I was able to fit in this side my 1 liter 32 ounce Camelback Shoot insulated bottle, and in the other side I was able to fit the 20 liter. So. 20 ounce, I'm sorry. So those both fit in without any trouble there. And this is a, a nice stretchy material that blends in flat. Over on the back of the bag, we have the uh, Evergoods shoulder straps. These are the same shoulder straps that you see on most of their bags. They have the uh, hydration bladder pass-through coming through the top. They have the sternum strap that attaches right now via this clip system. This is the same system that we have on the V2 version of the CPL bags. So you can check out my video review over there for how I was able to get that open. Also down here, these are adjustable with uh, plastic hardware. The back panel itself doesn't have too much, uh, mainly these lines where it's been sewed and it's a bit cushioned, but there's no mesh or ventilation lines to really provide additional airflow. If I put the bag on, we see that it has that same contouring over the shoulder that most of Evergood's bags do. And similar to some of their other bags, I find that this bag digs into my lower back right here. Uh, as a property of the frame sheet, it tends to have a natural curve like this, which for me, I just don't understand. 
air can get here, but then this just jabs me. I would have much preferred to not have this natural curve in the bag. But for some people, I'm sure this is extremely comfortable. Looking over at the top now, we have a carry handle. This is the same style carry handle on other Evergoods bags. It has a flat um, stay in it to really keep it flat. It can go flat against the bag and you can grab it pretty easily. It's um, you know, lots of room for your hand. It does, if you are gripping it tight, sort of jab in to your hands, but it's definitely easy to hold and easy to use. Past the handle, we have this half moon zipper, which gives you into the quick access pocket. Over here, there is a key leash, nice and red so you can see it. I have my pills, my AirPods Pro, a chapstick, and then some of the tags and materials that came with the bag. But you can see this is a pretty spacious quick access pocket, and it's really easy to zip and unzip with just the one hand, if the other zipper pull doesn't get in the way. Over here we have the Civic Half Zip's main compartment. As described, this is a half zip bag, so it zips down to here and this blocks down. Right here I'm going to start at the top. They have some webbing loops where you can attach a pen. I have here my Twisby Vac Mini, uh, though they're a bit far apart and I find that putting a pen there doesn't work so well. You can also attach a pouch, like I have here this Tombin handy little thing attached via their double carabiners to these. And it's pretty easy for me to just clip and unclip if I want to engage or disengage the pouch. Going further down, we have this here is the inside of the quick access pocket, and you can see where it takes volume in the bag. You can get behind it, there's this Velcro thing which gives access to the frame sheet. But unlike with the Civic Panel Loader backpacks, I haven't found a way to easily get out the frame sheet or put anything behind to help with lumbar support. Over here on the front, we have two internal pockets. This one right here, which is easily accessible from the top, is where I put my Anchor PowerCore Fusion Charger, my Apple Magic Mouse, and this cool dragon pen that definitely wasn't going to be staying still over there. There's also a little patch with information about the bag, Evergoods 2021, telling you that I think I misspoke earlier, the outside is a 500D ballistic nylon, and this inside is a 420D. Below that, we have what I like to think of as the upside down pocket. And the reason I say that is because this pocket is accessed when the flap is down, so you really want to do it upside down. It gets all of its volume towards the top of the bag, so you have it open like this, and then gravity helps you out. And here I just have two armbands. Now, each of these two front pockets gets their volume individually. You can see that when full, they try to take it out of much of the front of the bag. So I like to think of above this seam is where the volume for the top pocket goes, and below this seam is where the volume for the upside down pocket goes, about down to here. So that way it doesn't interfere too much with the interior volume of the bag. Now, what else do I have inside the bag? Over here I have a keyboard. This is just a um, mechanical keyboard I got off Amazon. I have my Nintendo Switch, my Thule Power Shuttle with my headphones, GoRuck Wired Op with all my other stuff, a uh, Pro Controller for the Nintendo Switch, and then here we have the internal uh, laptop or papers compartment. This is a stretchy material similar to the water bottles, it has a little loop here, and the bag is made so that if it bends back, it won't impact the laptop, it stretches around that. And here I have my 13-inch MacBook Pro that you can probably fit a laptop up to 15 inches inside. And that's the whole bag. Let's give you a shot of the interior. Now, those were items that I'd take with me on an everyday carry situation. But since this is a 26 liter bag, I'm gonna try filling this up with some packing cubes to show you what it might be like to do a one bag travel. All right, so with the bag all full of packing cubes, it actually does seem to stand up on its own right now. So that's a nice bonus. Taking out this water bottle, let's see how it looks and what packing cubes I was able to fit in. So I didn't actually bring my dop kit down, but if we assume the HLT size two, the handy little thing can be used as a dop kit, I have this fitting right up top there. Below that, I have a layer of packing cubes and then a layer of tech on top. 
So here are my headphones. Nice to have noise canceling headphones on a trip. Below that I have my power shuttle with all the cables and everything that I might need. Then here I have a Tombin Pack and Cube shoulder bag, followed by the smaller size of the Peak Design Pack and Cube. And I was able to fit that in the lengthways in the bottom, so this bag can accommodate that. Finally, I have my laptop in the laptop sleeve. So if you're looking at taking this on a one bag travel style trip, maybe for a weekend, or if you're super minimal indefinitely, it could definitely fit your needs. The Evergoods Civic Half Zip Series is great if you're looking for that Evergood style of bag with good quality materials and construction, but for some reason you don't want the clamshell opening that the CPL line offers. It has very, very effective water bottle pockets and for some people, superior comfort. For others like me, it's not necessarily the greatest thing on my back, but I really appreciate this nice limited edition signal blue colorway. I've always been a fan of blue. And I like the cohesiveness of the Civic Half Zip with the other bags in the Evergoods line. You can get the CHZ26 off the Evergoods website for $209 US, and I believe that comes with free shipping because it's over their threshold. If you like videos and want to see more, please smash that like button, leave a comment below on what you think the Signal Blue colorway looks like. Is it more of a blue? Is it more of a gray? How do you think that lighting applies? Please subscribe to my channel too. It really helps me out. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day and a happy new year.